41 years since the death of black consciousness leader Stephen Bantu Biko. President Cyril Ramaphosa delivered the 19th annual Steve Biko Memorial Lecture in Pretoria yesterday. ENCA's Samkele Maseko was there. Drama ensued at the annual 19th Stephen Bantu Biko lecture delivered by the President of the Republic, Cyril Ramaphosa, when students came on stage, disrupting him from delivering his speech. The event quickly moved on, but more importantly, Cyril Ramaphosa is a former student leader of the South African Students' Organization, but Nkosana Tibigo, the son of the late struggle stalwart Stephen Bantu Biko, had a message for the President of the Republic of South Africa. I have also met with the leadership of the Fees Must Fall, who asked me, Mr. President, to whisper to you, which I hereby do, that in your entry is a very important piece of correspondence regarding the matter of their comrades who are in jail. They said to say that... <clears throat> they said to say that as a former detainee yourself, you will be familiar with the contents of the motivation. In what was an apparent direct reply to the former president of the Republic of South Africa on issues related to state capture and corruption, the president of the Republic now, Cyril Ramaphosa, had these words to say about those linked with state capture and corruption that took place under the administration of former president Jacob Zuma. This requires firm, decisive and united action. We have begun the work but there is still much more to be done. Commissions of inquiry, disciplinary hearings, criminal prosecutions, and lengthy prison sentences are necessary instruments to tackle the scourge. In his closing remarks about Stephen Bantu Biko, the president says those who echo the same sentiments as Stephen Bantu Biko must have high morality standards in leadership so that they can steer South Africa in the right direction. Ultimately, we will not succeed unless we forge a new morality. We need leaders who serve with diligence and commitment seeking neither advantage nor undue rewards for themselves. Every citizen needs to respect the rights and property of others, respect the law, and know that you will also be respected by the law. The president is calling on South Africans to return in essence Ubuntu in the sense of South Africans must bring back humanity in where there is generosity in the nation so that the nation can lift itself up from where it is so that it can go on to greater heights. Samkele Masego, Pretoria.